Hey guys, Swifty here covering everything Chicago Bears. Today we're talking about the recent mini camp and the developments along the offensive line. We are rotating offensive tackles around. Jenkins was left tackle early, Borum was right tackle, then it swapped with Borum at left tackle and Jenkins at right tackle. This week they had rookie Braxton Jones running with the first team at left tackle and Larry Borum running with the first team at right tackle. That left my man Tevin Jenkins with the second team at right tackle. Websites like The Athletic and a lot of other Bears media coverage have already published articles and talked about how Tevin Jenkins got demoted. Ah, I love The Athletic. Usually they have great articles. I even subscribe. Saying Jenkins was demoted is straight clickbait when the coach says directly or they are just moving guys around to see how they look. I think Tevin Jenkins is going to run away with that right tackle spot. And anybody worried or overreacting to the news from a June minicamp needs to chill. Coach Flu said it himself that the players will separate themselves once the pads come on. They are just trying to see what the guys look like at different positions right now. When it comes to the trenches, it's hard to tell much without pads. Once the pads come on, the O-line competition will really start to heat up. And you know I'll be here covering it every step of the way. So let's get into my thoughts on why they are flipping the tackles around and what you should take away from it so far. One thing is clear to me. Kevin Jenkins is playing right tackle. He spoke about it a week or so ago in an interview and tipped off the Bears' plans a little bit. He said he's excited to be focusing on the right side. To me, Tevin Jenkins has the right tackle spot locked up. No need to overreact to him working with the second team in voluntary mini camps. I think it has a lot more to do with the coaches wanting to evaluate Larry Borum and Braxton Jones. I think Jones and Borum are competing for that left tackle spot. I think Borum might be a better fit as a swing tackle as he is more comfortable and has more experience on the right side. That gives Flus and the other coaches every reason to want to see what the offensive line looks like with Braxton Jones at left tackle and Larry Borum at right. Jenkins being with the second team wasn't really important. He was still on the right side and with him staying on the right side, it is easily his job to lose. No reason to overreact to him running with the twos. The coaches just wanted to see Braxton with the ones and how comfortable Borum is switching between left tackle and right tackle. Borum's ability to play both tackle spots only increases his value. I'm pretty sure they want to keep Braxton Jones on the left side and they want to keep Tevin Jenkins on the right side and allow them both to get comfortable. If I had to predict right now, with Braxton already getting reps with the ones, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that Braxton starts at left tackle and Jenkins starts at right tackle, with Borum being the swing tackle and valuable backup. I think Julian Davenport will work mostly on the left side with the reserves, and Sean Coleman will work mostly on the right side with the backups. The tackle picture is clearing up a bit, but we will find out so much more once the pads come on. That being said, I have watched a lot of tape and followed this situation closely, so I will tell you my favorites at each position and give you guys an overall ranking for the offensive linemen going into mandatory camps next week. An early preview, enjoy. If I had to put together a depth chart for the offensive line going into mandatory camps, this is what I have right now. So let's go into it one spot at a time. Let's start out with the left tackle spot. Most people see Larry Borum as a favorite here currently. I don't tend to overreact to OTAs. I will get more into that for the right guard position. However, for those who saw my Braxton Jones breakdown, I did say he can compete for the left tackle spot this year. I will put him and Larry Borum as 1A and 1B for the left tackle spot. I think this will be a tough competition that lasts throughout training camp. I think Borum is better fit to be the swing tackle, but it doesn't mean he's less likely to win the starting job. If Borum does win the left tackle job and Jenkins were to go down or have to miss time, they could easily then slide Borum over to right tackle and let Braxton Jones come in at left tackle. I think this is the plan heading into camp. Things should change a lot once we put pads on though. Next up is the left guard spot. 
I think Cody Whitehair has the left guard spot nailed down, even though there is going to be competition. We haven't heard much yet from the coaches regarding Zachary Thomas or Jatiri Carter yet, but expect those guys to make some noise in camp. I think Whitehair's backup will either be Dakota Dozier or one of those two rookies. Also, don't forget about our boy Dieter. Center spot. Lucas Patrick has this spot nailed down and should be a leader among the offensive line. I think Doug Kramer should earn the backup spot and solidify our center position and make it one of our best positions on the line. I expect Patrick to have a solid season. I think in a pinch, Patrick could be really good at right or left guard and could move over and allow Doug Kramer to enter the starting lineup. I doubt this happens this year, but I wouldn't rule it completely out. They want to find the best five linemen. But now let's get to the right guard spot. The position that has been the talk of the offseason and I will do a couple separate videos addressing this position alone. As of right now, Dakota Dozier and Sam Mustafer are splitting reps with the ones at right guard. I am completely unsold on Musty. Most of you guys know I don't think he has the size to play guard. He's just a bit too small. I will do a more in-depth breakdown on him if he continues getting time with the first team throughout training camp. I think it's only a matter of time until Zachary Thomas and or Jatiri Carter move their way up the depth chart at right guard. Also, we have to keep an eye out for Dieter Iceland at this position as well. He's a guy I love and you know I'm rooting for him and like him a lot. Right now, it's Dozier versus Mustafer. For me, it's going to be Thomas versus Carter soon. We'll see how this shakes up. This position is very much open for the taking. So right now, the left tackle spot and right guard spot are wide open. You've got two guys battling for the left tackle spot and about four or five battling for the right guard spot. So now we're to the final position on the line, the right tackle spot, the spot that people are actually freaking out about this week because Tevin Jenkins run with the twos. Listen. As other publications talk about how Jenkins got demoted, as other publications talk about how Jenkins got demoted, I will go ahead and stake another shot out there, making a prediction, guys. I don't see any way Tevin Jenkins isn't the right tackle if he is healthy. I pencil him in as a starter right now and one of the best players on our entire offensive line. He is actually the huge favorite to win the right tackle job, and in my opinion, it's over. He is one of the three best linemen on our team and has the potential to be the best offensive lineman. I love Tevin Jenkins. I think he was always going to be a starter. It was just a matter of at which position. Now that he has settled on the right side, that right tackle job is his to lose. As far as how the depth chart shakes out behind him, I think the backup right tackle spot will be between Larry Borum if he loses at left tackle or Sean Coleman if he can stick around on the roster. The long shot at this spot is Gene DeLance. We really don't know where he's going to be playing, but I do like the kid. I will do a bigger breakdown on my O-line rankings near training camp. However, if I had to rank our offensive linemen today, here is how I would rank our top 10. Remember, they are trying to get the best five guys on the field. Honorable mention goes out to Sean Coleman, Sam Mustafer, Gene DeLance, and Dieter Iceland just fell outside of the top 10. 10th, I have Julian Davenport. 9th, Dakota Dozier. 8th, I have rookie center from Illinois, Doug Kramer. 7th, I have rookie guard from Southern, Jatiri Carter. No spoilers as my video on him comes out tomorrow. 6th, we have Zachary Thomas. 5th, we have another rookie, four in a row here, Braxton Jones, who is getting time with the first team left tackle spot. 4th, we have Larry Borum. And then the top three, kind of interchangeable. I have it as three, Cody Whitehair, two, Lucas Patrick, and me, my favorite, and the guy I think will be our best offensive lineman by the end of the year, Tevin Jenkins. The top three, you could really move around any way you want, but Whitehair, Patrick, and Tevin are easily our best three offensive linemen heading into camp next week. I think those three have their starting spots all but locked up. Meanwhile, there's going to be a heated battle for left tackle and right guard job that should last deep into camp. Thanks for watching, guys. Please hit that like button. I will be monitoring the situation closely with more updates to come. Until next time, 
Bear down.